Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about a topic that's probably more appropriate now than at any time in world history because most people, at least in America, most people are crippled with debt. This is week two in our Getting Right with God and Money series. And we're gonna talk about attacking your debt. Last week, we talked about getting the right mindset with your money. So if you missed that lesson, make sure to go back and cover that one first. And if by chance you don't have a debt problem, you can skip this topic and go straight to topic three where we're gonna get into budgeting. But here's the first thing that we need to understand. Debt is a shortcut to the lifestyle you think you want. But in the end, it always leads to bondage, not freedom. Let's look at some scripture together today. First of all, from Luke chapter 12, this is Jesus himself. He said, beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Now, I want you to think about your debt. And in a moment, we're gonna have you make a list of your debt. But really, if you're honest about it, you're trying to purchase a lifestyle now that you haven't earned yet. I remember when my wife and I first got married, we both had this sort of expectation that we should have the lifestyle that we grew up with. But we were a newlywed couple, and we had to realize that we're not going to have the lifestyle that our parents have because we haven't earned it yet. So we had to sort of slow down and back up and really adjust, sort of check our mindset when it came to the debt we were willing to take on. Some of you might be in the same boat. So consider these words of Jesus, guard against every kind of greed. And here's why, from the book of Proverbs, just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. In other words, the more debt you take on, the more bondage you'll find yourself in. Now, I'm sure I don't have to convince you of that because if you're taking this lesson, you've probably learned this already. And one more verse, this is Jesus again. And we saw this last week, Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. And that's the main reason we want to attack our debt as Christians. We don't wanna be enslaved to money. We wanna be able to serve God. So attacking your debt will help you to do just that but it's going to require a new skill. And here's the skill, telling yourself no. You're gonna to have to learn to sacrifice now and benefit later. Again, if you think about debt as buying a life that you haven't earned yet, then that means you're going to have to tell yourself no to that. I'm not going to buy myself something I haven't yet earned. I'm gonna be disciplined with my money, I'm gonna be disciplined with my spending. Again, we're gonna get into all of this as we continue this series and talk more about budgeting. But first and foremost, I wanna give you a really simple and practical strategy for dealing with your debt right now. It's what Dave Ramsey calls the debt snowball. And here it is. Attack your smallest debts first and then roll that debt payment into the next one until you've eliminated, over time, all of your debt. So here's what we're gonna have you do now with a group or a mentor or just with your spouse. Write down, and you can use the workbook or just do this on a sheet of paper, write down your debts from smallest to largest, and we're not talking about smallest interest payments, we're talking about smallest balance. Smallest balance to largest balance and begin to attack your debts in that order. Now, some people might say, well, shouldn't I take care of the debts with the largest interest payment? And I, you know, I think psychologically, it's gonna be helpful for you to just start getting some wins. And this is exactly sort of the idea behind the debt snowball. Attack those smallest debts first, and then roll that debt payment to the next one. Go ahead and start working on this exercise, and then we'll see you in the next video.